I'm Tim Pennington, editor of Products Finishing Magazine, and here's your top news from the finishing world for the week of September 11th. The NASF Palmetto Technical Conference is October 9th through the 11th. The NASF Palmetto Southeast Chapter will hold its 11th annual Fall Technical Conference in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, October 9th through the 11th. Chapter President Paul Skelton says the event brings together a community of metal finishing professionals to promote and advance the industry's past, present, and future. Visit pfonline.com for more information on how to attend. Powder Technologies' Kark Powder Top Coat has been approved by the U.S. Army Research Lab. The ARL approved Powder Technologies' Mill Preference 32348 Type 3 Class 1 Tan 33446 Powder Top Coat. The new product listing is now shown online on the ARL's Qualified Products Database. This latest product marks Powder Technology's ninth ARL-approved powder coating. We take a look at Julie Voison's colorful career with Sherwin-Williams Aerospace Coatings. Runway Girl Network website spotlights the career of Voison, the global marketing manager at Sherwin-Williams Aerospace Coating. She says as she was getting her college marketing major, she never thought about an aerospace career, but her dad was in the Air Force and worked for Cessna and Boeing. Find a link to this article on pfonline.com. A Michigan plater tackled emissions issues with new equipment. A partnership between the Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy, and Elm Plating Company in Jackson, Michigan, has paid off big for the shop. In 2015, the Air Quality Division became aware of a new plant and initiated a compliance inspection. It was determined that additional steps would be necessary in order to get this plant into full compliance with state and federal air pollution rules. In our On the Move segment, Grady Willis joins Resentech's technical sales team. Willis has over two decades of industry experience, including 17 years in the power and water industry sector. Our tech tip of the week is fixing corrosion between anodized aluminum and steel. Dr. Ann Deacon Jewell with AluConsult says calvonic corrosion is due to an electrical contact with a more noble metal or a non-metallic conductor in a conductive environment. Dr. Jewell gives tips on solving this issue and offers best practice advice. The innovation of the week is Thermatronics Automated Conveyor Carrier System. Thermatronics material handling systems incorporate a wireless network to send instructions to individual carriers throughout the paint line. Carriers are hung on an overhead I-beam rail and propelled using an adjustable friction drive wheel. Remember, you can read all these stories at pfonline.com, where you can also sign up for our weekly newsletter that will bring you all the latest finishing news information to your inbox each week. I'm Tim Pennington with Products Finishing Magazine, and thanks for watching.